Want to make slick city backgrounds for your manga? Here's some tricks to develop your scenes. And starting out any background perspective is needed. I'm going to give myself a little challenge and put some curvilinear 5 point perspective. But in developing a 5 point perspective grid quickly, I'll put ellipses of varying heights, but the same width along one axis, then copy and flip that grid 90 degrees, like so, to develop the first four vanishing points. Then that fifth vanishing point is right in the center, which I'll copy and flip as well. After developing the grid, you can make cool distorted objects in a curvilinear manner. I also have videos on curvilinear perspective that I'll link in the description, and at the end of the video if you're interested. Using the grid, I'll make the foreground of the skyline that's so close it's curving in the viewer's face. But in the middle and far background, I'm going to switch up to a more linear one point perspective since the distortions decrease as the object moves away in distance from the viewer. Now that the base objects for the various buildings and skyline are set, let's add the various details in each building which is mostly composed of windows. With this next simple trick, you don't need to be an architect to draw buildings in a clean and efficient way. First, you have to make any flat window pattern. To keep my first pattern easy, I'll make a long black rectangle and section it off into black squares. Then I'll take the row of black squares and copy it down below again and again and again. Once you have a window pattern, you can do a number of different distortions to match a building's perspective. The first one is the perspective distortion, which you can do by clicking edit, then transform, then perspective to shift the shape to go towards a vanishing point depending on which side you elongate or shrink. The next distortion is a skew function, which allows you to drag the layer edge up and down or sideways back and forth. Adding on to the skew function is a distort function, which also allows you to stretch and compress the shape along with moving the edge up and down. The fourth distortion is the mesh transformation, which allows you to warp an object along 16 points. This is good if you wanna make something trippy, in which I made a previous video covering that topic, further link below. There is one last distortion I'll go over later which mixes all of the functions together. But using these existing functions, you can create a bunch of different flat building window patterns based on things you find in the city or in manga you like. But let's apply this to our manga panel. So here I'll copy, paste, and resize patterns based on the number of faces of the building. Then I'll use a mesh transformation to match the pattern along the curvilinear perspective grid of the building. I'm applying these patterns like tones and with separate layers I can just erase any excess, changing the opacity to help find any overlap. Finally, I want to demonstrate the last function, fusing all the functions together. The free transformation tool allows you to rotate, scale, distort, and use perspective on an object all in one continuous operation. So here I'll just change the flat layer to match with the side face of the building and erase the rest of the pattern. And voila, that's a building done with a couple of clicks. You can replicate this process with any other pattern as well. After rinsing and repeating with varied patterns over many buildings, you can develop a beautiful skyline for your establishing shots and backgrounds. If you want more tips on creating backgrounds, feel free to watch my videos on 5 point perspective linked here or my video on linear perspective linked here. If you're interested in more manga tips, feel free to subscribe. But as always, I'll see you next time.